Hey everybody, Greg again here. I've uh, just got some habanero seeds that I've gotten germinated through the paper towel method that I use. Um, I have another video on how I do this and I'll link that below. But basically, um, dampen a piece of uh, paper towel with water that's been infused with some hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2, so it's all perfectly safe. Um, just as an extra molecule of oxygen in it. It helps the seeds to germinate quicker. So that's why I use it. So these I actually placed in here about a week ago. And I noticed today when I went to look that they are ready to get into some soil. So I'm just going to open this up and show you. I don't know if you can see, we've got definite roots coming from several of these guys. So what I've done is I've gotten a Solo Cup ready. I like using the Solo Cups. Uh, I tend to use these rather than uh, seed trays. Uh, I find them easier to move around. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just easier to work with. Um, I do have holes cut into the bottom. I will set them into trays, such as these trays in the background here. And I water from the bottom. Now this one I do have marked for habanero on January 25th, which is today. Uh, again, I just I find that they are economical to use. Um, I'll put several seeds in here as the plants come out. Then I'll just start moving them into new solo cups and have in, an individual plant in each solo cup before they go outside. All right, so. Very simply, I'm just going to make some holes in here. I'm going to do four in this guy. So I believe I have at least four here. Yep. Just to show you one there. Very gently. Let me place that in. And I barely cover it. Maybe a quarter of an inch at most. Okay, I've got another one here. A very tiny one there, but we'll use it. And we've got one more right there. All right, so we've got those in. Now, the other thing I do to help get these guys growing is I will, <coughs> excuse me, goodness, just take a lunch baggie, tent it over top, and you're basically creating a little greenhouse here. Grab a rubber band, if you don't have a rubber band, you can just tape around the bottom of the bag if you want. And there we have it. Now, generally what I'll do, you can just set this on a shelf. Uh, it doesn't need light until, you know, the, uh, the plants start to come. But uh, I tend to put them just in a sunny window, let them sit. And when they start to come, as I said, when they get to a good height, maybe an inch or two, I will start moving them into their own individual solo cups. The soil that I'm using is just, just potting soil, just something I picked up like from Home Depot. Uh, the medium, when you're just growing the seed, doesn't really matter. They don't need fertilizer, they don't need much. Uh, they just need something that, soil that they can grow in. Uh, one other thing I wanna mention, I did saturate the soil pretty well because they've been sitting in essentially water this whole time. So I wanted to make sure that moving them in here they still have plenty of water, just like where they were, and yeah, that'll help them grow, hopefully. So anyway, um, I may bring you back, show you what this looks like in a couple of days or in, once they start to uh, come through the soil, but I hope this helped. Great way to germinate your seeds, inexpensive. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.